In today's video, I'm going to try eight Asian snacks that I got from the local Asian store. And I found them very interesting. I just wanted to give them a try and see what I think about it. Peach and oolong tea. I like the packaging. It's very pretty and it has the drawings. It looks like kind of like hand drawings and I hardly see it these days, to be honest. The color, honestly, as expected, this is in a bottle. So the bottle is not actually colored. So the color is just like kind of peachy-ish. So like very diluted tea, if that makes sense by the way it looks. It smells very peachy. It tastes like peach, but not too strong. So this is very, very lightly peach flavor that I can taste. With everything we are going to have today, rice that will be like kind of like a main meal. And this rice has a braised pork flavor. Under the lid we have a few packets actually. Inside we go, I'm assuming this is rice because this is the biggest packet that's inside. So there has to be rice. And oh my God, it comes with like a fork spoon. Most things that don't give you anything like chopsticks or anything. Packet that's silver color and it's like liquidy inside. It feels liquidy. I don't know what's in it. Probably like some sauce they put. Then you have the oil, some spices. So that's gonna be like a seasoning maybe. And inside is the indicators for the water. So inside, I'll first put the rice in. It's like very small grains. Honestly, it's like smaller than normal rice. I have never seen this before. This is so weird. The next, I'll put this packet in. It says in the packaging, rice will make in like eight minutes or so. So meanwhile, I'll just try other things. The next I'm gonna go for is salted baked duck wings. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. So yes, so there is two of the, something that looks like drumsticks kind of. So I'll keep this package in here. And this is the salted baked duck wings that we have. I'll just unpack it and probably put it on a plate. I wanna know what it tastes like. I'm honestly very curious. I have never tried ready packed meat that smells very it smells like lemon chicken or something it smells really weird honestly i did not expect it would smell like this looks like an actual drumstick i will try it but it also looks like it has like oil coated on it or something i'm not sure it tastes very dry it has like a dead jelly texture i'm assuming this is like a marinade or something that they coated the chicken in this is what it looks like honestly it tastes very nice yeah it's very good honestly i like it i think it would go very good with rice let's check if the rice is ready okay this is actually cooked very nice it's like it's a lot of rice now it's, it's surprising so we need to put oils in now oils and flavors this is supposed to be the like a dark sauce that kind of has like barbecue color i guess the next is the oil i'll just pour it in and see what it tastes like after mixing it it looks like this let me try this let me give this a go the rice is so good i would so buy this outside of this video for sure and a few of them at least a very creamy texture and it is very meaty and tiny bit oniony i guess that's what it looks like close up and in the container oh it's like barbecue pork kind of flavor so yeah, it's like one of these things where it says that it tastes like braised pork and it literally tastes like it. The next product that I will open up will be jellyfish. It comes in a set with oil, I believe. Let me open this up and have a look what's inside of this packaging. It doesn't smell like anything yet. So yeah, it comes with some dark sauce. Could be like a flavoring of some sort, I'm not sure. And this is our jellyfish. It's like swimming in some sort of liquid. It says in the packaging to drain the liquid before consuming it and then mix it with the spice itself. Just do that very quickly. That is what it looks like. Kind of has like the clear yellowish look and it has like absolutely no smell at all. Let's put the sauce in and see. That is red, actually. That's a red sauce. Is it spicy? I don't know. It doesn't say on it. That what it looks like with the sauce in it. And I'll just have to mix it in and enough this it's ready. That's the jellyfish on a fork right now. This is what it looks like. I think it was like sweet chili or something. This is weirdly nice. It has that crunch to it. It's definitely savory food rather than sweet. But it has that sweet aftertaste. So I do think it's sweet chili because it's a bit spicy. And the texture to it, I would honestly say it's not for everyone. Not everybody will like this. But I personally do like this. These are fresh scallops, it says on it. But garlic flavor, it tastes at the back. There's actually quite a few inside. Six. We get six of them. They don't come with the shell, by the way. It feels it's like very soft. But I wonder if it's going to look the same as on this picture or not. Let's open it up. Dude, that smells very strongly of garlic and it has some sauce looking texture. That looks very mushy. That looks like tuna. Uh, this is what it looks like. I honestly had high expectations about this because it's the best, best color, but oh, I don't know. The texture throws me off big time. It actually tastes like mushroom and it looks like it's been like chopped in pieces or something because it falls apart very easily. So I think it might have been chopped up with mushrooms or something. There are different things here. This is definitely a scallop because you can see like the outline of the shell and everything. There 
is definitely mushroom. It tastes like mushroom so strongly. It's honestly good. I don't want to seem like I like everything, but I do like everything. Hot and sour lemon braised chicken feet flavor lice. This is, I think, the weirdest I have found so far in a store. I don't know what's it going to even taste like because I have never tried it myself. Lemon braised chicken feet. Let's open this up. It smells spicy and lemony. It smells like spicy lemon. But it looks very good. Standard lace. Honestly, whoever tried lace is just a standard shape. It tastes like lemon. The spice kicks in. Like at the start, you don't taste it at all, but it suddenly it just tastes very spicy. It's like it's not spicy, it's like hot. On a scale of one to ten, that could be a three. Two to three. That's like a weird spice. It's like you don't taste it and then it's there. Do I taste chicken? Not at all. Spicy lemon chips. But it says there's supposed to be a chicken in it. Oh, look, look, chicken in it, but I call the picture there's a chicken and it says chicken. They're good though. They're very good. Would I buy this? Most definitely, yes. Flavor is nice, but it's not what it says what it is. I and mean, I would prefer it more if it tasted like chicken more, I would say. But I think like, the spice kills off the chicken flavor. The next thing that I got is double filling mochis. I've tried previously like standard mochis, but these are double filling, so I don't really know. But on the milk. Okay, but on the milk flavor. They look very good so far. And these are made in Taiwan. There is inside like a tray. And there's six on it, six mochis. It's sealed so well that it's honestly very hard to even open it. They kind of have the cold feeling to them. It has a cream inside, banana flavoring on the outside, but it doesn't really taste like cream. It just tastes like banana. I feel like the feeling is not enough here, to be honest. This is very underwhelming. It's not powerful enough, but would I buy them? Probably not, honestly. I'll finish this one. It's nice. I would not buy them because I feel like its taste is kind of like underwhelming. I don't know. And the last item that we have is brown sugar pearl milk ice bar. So I'm assuming it's like a bubble tea, but in an ice block. I don't know. I find it personally weird. I never tried this. I don't even know how they're gonna freeze it, considering that it has like tapioca balls. So I'm not really sure how they're gonna freeze and what texture it's gonna be. But when I think about bubble tea, I think about something creamy, but this is an ice bar. So it's not gonna be creamy, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe they'll make ice bar creamy somehow. Four in a pack. And it has like a very pretty packaging. Look, 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 look. This looks nice. I don't know. I'm not honestly a huge fan of the ice bars. I prefer like standard ice creams. But the ice bars concept is a bit not for me, I guess. I don't know. But I wanna give this a go. Wait, this is a like creamy. Oh my god, what? I just chewed on the tapioca bowl. This is weird, man. This is like so weird. It tastes so strongly like coffee for some reason. And the tapioca balls are so chewy, you can like actually see them here. That is like so cool because I thought it's just gonna be like a block block, but it's not. It's not, it's like soft. I'm assuming because of them. I wonder if they go throughout. I think they just kind of like on the top, but in here. On the side, you can see that there's one towards the bottom. But oh my god, this ice cream is great. Like, actually great. I say in a minute. Totally buy like 10 out of 10. Would definitely recommend. So good, so amazing. I just, it's unexpectedly good. Was underwhelmed until I tried it, honestly. It was just so good. I would definitely recommend this to everyone. This ice cream tasted kind of like a bit burned caramel, coffee, milky. It's so nice. It's a combination of everything I like, honestly, put together. I don't know how I feel about this. It's just like so unexpectedly good. It's weird. This was the video on eight Asian snacks. If you like it, please give it a like. And if you want to continue watching these sort of videos, subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you next time.